Bruce, Bruce, how you doing, mate? Good, good, yeah, it's good to see you again. What are you up to these days? The poker tour. Huh, always took you for more of a crabs guy. Why? Because that sounds like crabs. Never mind, mate, never mind. Anyway, what's it going to take to get you into the Tigers' dugout this season? You're not interested? Oh, come on, mate, you're the only me crustacean for the job. Mate, the fans, they're demanding it. You're all they want. You're not interested still. Well, if you change your mind... All right, I'll reluctantly accept it for now, but I'm not going to give up on you, Bruce. Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Villain, and welcome back to the Detroit Tigers. It is Season 2. It's Episode we up to Episode 4 of Season 2, and today we play the Kansas City Royals in what is the first game of the new manager's reign. Brian Altman is the new man. Uh, unfortunately, Bruce Crabb wasn't interested in joining us, which is disappointing. He's, he's managing AAA or AA or something, and I, I just he wasn't interested. It wasn't giving me an option to negotiate with him. So we've had to go with Brian Altman. Now, the reason I've done this is... Uh, uh, I can't remember who it was in the comments, now apologies you know who you are and very wisely suggested look for relationships because those can be just as if not more important than their actual ability to manage and this guy is going to have good relationships with uh with the players so that's the main reason we've gone for him you'll see he's only well, only he's on just under 600 grand a year which is half of what uh, for example hinch was on so he's not going to be the most expensive person to get out if uh, it doesn't work out he's completely unproven um which is exactly what you want in, as a major league manager, I would imagine. Uh, he does prefer prospects. You know, I, I think there's a lot that I like about him. Uh, you know, he likes you know, like stealing bases, aggressive running, which I think I'm a fan of. Uh, he likes the matchups. A lot of this stuff I can sort of override him, but as I tend to do, is I'll, I'll more or less just let him uh, do his thing. And, uh, you know, he's quick to get rid of relief pitches, which is a good thing, I think, but uh, less... You know, we end up with a bunch of tied pitches. But if you get rid of them quick, they should be okay to, to go relatively soon after. And we're going to have basically free reign to hire the coaches that we want, which wasn't, I think, hitting coach Hitch wanted. So we might even have to, we'll, we'll see. We'll just see how we go the rest of the season. So this is a new man. Now, as a player, he didn't do much. Uh, fair to say, I've Googled him and I cannot find a, a picture of him uh, to save myself. He retired a year ago. Uh, despite having played uh, not triple or not played AAA for over a decade, so good luck to him. And uh, yeah, so that is that. That's our new manager. So we'll live in hope that he's a good one. Uh, he's a tactician. He's uh, he's a personable tactician. So that sounds like a good combination to me. Uh, now, literally nothing. Well, I said literally very little has changed. Uh, he agreed to the contract. Unsurprisingly, as an unproven manager, he offered a major league job very quickly. So there's just been the one game, and I can report that Hinch went out with a win. 5-3, we beat the Royals. Uh, not too much to to, to 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 talk about really. We out hit them. Um, yeah, you know, if I hadn't already lost my temper with him, then maybe that would have saved his job. Uh, Cabrera went four for four, so that's always good to see. And down uh, the pitching side of things, Laurier, uh, on his return to Major League Baseball, got the win. Pitched 7.1, three innings, three earned runs. Very, very good outing for him indeed. So, yeah, that was all very positive. And hopefully now it will continue to be positive because we're going to go on a nice little win run with the new manager. Uh, the standings as a refresher, we, I mean, the Royals are the second worst team in our division, so we'd like to think we can go and beat them um yeah we just got to hope that we can and close this gap up now on uh, on cleveland so there's not too much else as i say to catch you up on uh let's go see what the new guy's all about we're going to go and face the royals and we're going to face them in kansas all right, so this is the lineups for Altman's first game in charge. Riley Green moves over to left field and leads us off. And May is going to play second base in this one and bat second. Garcia bats third at third. Meadows cleans up as it's not a hitter. It's Torkelson batting at five and playing first base. Cabrera moves into right field for this one. He bats six. Uh, Badu comes in for the fatigued uh, Reyes. He plays center field and bats seven. Ahmed at shortstop bats eight. Dillinger comes in for this one. He bats nine and is the catcher. And it's Turnbull on the mound for us. Taylor Clark on the mound for them. He his ERA this season is over five and a half, a whip of 1.61. We win the pitching matchup, and I'd like to think that uh, our bats can get the job done here as well. So, yeah, let's hope we can get a win. So, welcome to Kansas. It is green to lead us off. A 1 1 pitch to start us off as well. And, uh, yeah, well, it's, it's important, I think, that Altman does get off to a good start. 
be unproven. A part of me thinks it doesn't matter, and a part of me is green. It does get a leadoff single. Excellent start to the Altman reign. A part of me thinks it doesn't matter. You know, if he's if he's good, then he'll he'll be fine. Uh, we've got Amaya coming in now, only batting 190 this season, but he has cracked that to the fence, and that might even score Riley Green from first. You know, he's rounding, he's going home, and Amaya delivers an RBI double, and I believe that might even be a first career double for him. Excellent stuff. So we go 1-0 up, runner at second, no one out, and Garcia comes to the plate, batting 239, another 1-2 pitch. Garcia watches strike three go through. That's the first out. Meadows comes in now batting 324, an 0-2 pitch. And Meadows has popped it up. And it should be caught. It's only shallow right field, but it is caught. And Torkelson will come up now. Two out with the runner on second to try and drive in a second run. He's batting 256 this season is Tork. He's been hit there by the first pitch as well. I wonder if there's a bit of history between those two, which means Cabrera comes in now. Hot streak, batting 320 this season, and 0-1, and Cabrera grounds it to second base, and it didn't look like something he had to swing out, did it? So that's the end of the top of the first. We are 1-0 up. Turnbull to the mound to face Grossman, who is batting 248 this season. It's a full count. Can we sit down the first batter for the Royals? Oh, we can. And it's a strikeout for uh, Turnbull as well. And Jock Pedersen batting second now, batting 213 this season. A 1-0 pitch on him. A ground ball, it gets past Torkelson up the right field line, and it will be a double for Jock Pedersen. So, not ideal. But uh, hopefully we can limit the damage. Whit Jr. comes in now, batting 301. It's an 0-2 pitch and another strikeout for Turnbull. Keep going to call him Ross Turnbull, and if... Uh, you well as watch football manager you will be familiar with the name and it's gone over center field and an rbi double for the royals ties the game at one in the first so we've still got two out we've still got a runner at second perez comes in now batting 219 and turnbull will end the innings with that one as uh, green out there in left field now makes the catch so one one that is after the first Badu comes in now batting 216. Restored to the lineup after a bit of timeout. He's hit that. It's deep, but I think it's too high. And it doesn't have the legs to clear the fence. And that is one away. Nick Ahmed now batting 274 comes up. It's a 2-2 pitch on him. And Ahmed swings through strike three. So Dingler now comes up batting 122. And uh, having a bit of a tough start to his major league career. But he is very much the backup to Trevino and uh, just happens to be playing this game. McKinstreet will lead them off, batting four for 46 this season. Wow. He's going to face Turnbull. It's a 2 1 pitch and he's five for 47 now. That's annoying. And it's a leadoff single for the Royals. Margo comes in now, batting 245. It's an 0 2 pitch and it's a strikeout and it's one away. Ivan Castillo now, batting 300, comes in. A 2-1, and that is hit down the right field line. And let's see what Cabrera's arm is like. you got to throw it, Cabrera. He forgot to throw the ball. It's an RBI triple. We're one run down now. There's a runner at third. Isbell comes up. He is uh, his first at bat of the season. And Turnbull has been hit into left field. It is caught by Green, and we wish we didn't have Green's arm out there. It's another run. And we are, well, we're letting this slide away early, aren't we? Grossman comes in. It's a 3-1. He walks. So that's a two-out walk. Pedersen to the plate. He's one for one today. It's an 0-1 pitch. And a rough innings for Turnbull continues. And we're going to have a runner at third again. So with two out runners at the corners. And the Altman era is uh, looking a lot like the Hinch era just now. There's a ground ball to the shortstop, out at second, ends the inning. But we're 3-1 down just now. And Riley Green will lead us off. One for one he is today. A 2-2 pitch, and Green has popped it up. And that'll be one away. Amea comes in. He's one for one. Of course, the RBI double last time up. An 0-2 pitch this time, and he swings through strike three. For Garcia to come in now, who's batting uh, 0 for 1 today as well. An 0-1 pitch. 
And that will do it for the top of the third very quick. And let's hope Turnbull can return the favor here. It's Prato who is one for one. A one-two pitch. And a strikeout for Turnbull. That's more like it, mate. Perez comes in now. He's 0 for 1 today. A 1-1 one, one pitch. And that looks big. It's not Turnbull's day today, is it? Salvador Perez, 383 feet over right field. It's 4-1 to the Royals. And Turnbull will stay in the game. McKinstry, who is one for one, will step in. It's a full count. And that should be out at first. And Mayer makes the play. So two out, no one on. For Mago, who is 0 for 1 today. It's an 0 1 pitch. And it's up the middle. Can Badu make a play? No, he gets it on the hop. And that is a two out single. And it's Castillo, who hit, of course, the triple last time up. This time he hits it into centre field. I think we've got to take uh, Turnbull out of this one, please, Altman. We're not doing it yet. Isbell, who is uh, got the sack fly last time up. He walks this time to load the bases. And Altman, if you want to stay on my good side, mate, you need to get... Uh, oh, he's staying in. Grossman, who's 0 for 1. A 1-2 pitch. And that should be catchable. But Du is running in. He does make the play. So they leave them loaded. And we just drop one more run. So we're three down now. Meadows to lead us off, who was 0 for 1 today. Austin Meadows pops it up. It'll be caught by the shortstop. And that'll be one away. Torkelson now, who... Uh, did he walk last time up? I think oh, he got hit, didn't he? This time he grounds at the third. And that will be two away. And it's Denny Cabrera, who is 0 for 1. A 1-1 one, one pitch. Cabrera pops it up into left field. And again, a very, very quick inning. And uh, Turnbull will continue to Pedersen, who is two for two. It's a one-two pitch. And that is popped up. It'll be caught by the second baseman, Amaya. And that is one away. Witt Jr., who is 0 for two, comes in. It's a one-two pitch. And that's towards Badu. He should have a simple enough catch. Two away. And it's Prato, who is one for two. Two out, no one on. A one-two pitch. And that should be out at first. It is Castillo makes the... No, Garcia it is. Sorry, makes the play. Our first scoreless innings for the Royals. Let's hope we can score in this one now. Badu comes in. He's 0 for 1 today. It's a full count. And he walks. All right, we'll take that. Ahmed, 0 for 1. A 2-2 two -two pitch. Ahmed strikes out. One away. Dillinger now, who is 0 for 1. First pitch swing, is that a double play? No, just one. So runner goes to second with two away for Riley Green. He's 1 for 2. We could really do with him driving in a run here for us. That gets away from the catcher. But do goes to third. And now Green just needs to put the ball in play. And we'll have a run back. Oh, and he's struck out. And we don't have that run back. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Turnbull, we're persisting with him. 3-1 is the count on Perez, who hit the home run last time up. This time he grounds it out to Ahmed, one away. Turnbull to face McKinstry now, who's one for two. It's a full count on him, and that's a walk. So one out now with a runner at first for Mago, who is one for two. It's a 3-1 count. We haven't walked him, but Du is underneath it. That's two away. The runner will stay at first. And now we do make the change. And it's Ronnie Garcia. We haven't seen much of him this season. And he's not been in the same form as last season. 4.67 is his ERA. He's going to face Castillo, who's two for two. And that is straight to Badu. That will end the fifth. So another scoreless inning for the Royals. But we're still three runs down. We've only had two hits. And they were the first two batters of the game, were they not? It's Amaya, who is one for two. He strikes out. And thankfully, they've changed their picture. It's a lefty, Sean Doolittle, coming in to face Garcia, who is 0 for 2. We're going to have a first pitch swing here. And Garcia, straight to first base, and that is 2 away. Austin Meadows now comes in. He's 0 for 2. Can he get himself on base? It's a full count, and Meadows has popped it up. And that'll do it for the top of the 6th. We just can't get anything going with the bat, can we? 
Isbell will lead them off to face Garcia. Isbell is uh, 0 for 0 today. Remember, we've got the sack fly. He's going to have uh, 1 for 0 now. Can't remember what happened second time around. Is it only second at bat? It is only second at bat. Grossman is in. He's 0 for 2. It's a 2 2 pitch. Can Garcia get the strikeout? He can. Garcia, of course, was very, very good last season, wasn't he? He was actually nominated uh, by you guys as our season MVP as he gets another strikeout. And that ends the sixth. So we have three innings to score at least three runs. Torkelson comes in now. He is 0 for 1. Torkelson has had a big swing at it, but it's going to land straight into the glove of the left fieldsman. And Cabrera now, who's 0 for 2, comes in. It's a 1-2 pitch. Cabrera. Oh, that's a good catch by the shortstop. Two away. Badu, who is 0 for 1 with a walk. It's a 1-2 pitch, and Badu strikes out. And that means it is time to stretch in Kansas City. All right, Garcia will continue to Wick Jr. And that is going to drop in for a leadoff single as Riley Green brings it in. It brings Prato to the plate, who's 1 for 3. It's an 0-2, and that is straight up. Omega is under it, makes the catch. Runner stays at first, one away. Perez now, who is one for three. That one, of course, was the monster over right field, but that's a strikeout for two away. And McKinstry now, who made the good catch last defensive inning. He's grounded that to second, and Amaya makes the play comfortably. So we go into the eighth. Three runs down in Altman's first game in charge. Ahmed will lead us off. He is 0 for 2. It's a 3-0. Get on base here, Nicky boy. He does. All right. He's not the quickest. And Zach Hake will come onto the mound to face Dingler, who is, well, he's, he's 5 for 43. So that gives you a rough idea what to expect here. He lays down a bunt, and it's a bad... Oh, it's an error! They were just shocked. Everybody went into shock that Dingler had made contact with the ball. And we've got runners at first and second. No one out for Riley Green, who's 1 for 3. And the tying run is suddenly at the plate. Green strikes out. Edmund will come in to pinch hit. Batting 253 this season. A 1-0. Edmund has popped it up. And suddenly we're two down with two on. And Garcia comes to the plate. He's over three. Come on, Garcia. Ah, oh, you idiot. Watching strike three in this situation. And Garcia will face Margot, who's one for three. And I think it goes without saying we don't want any more runs to be needed in the ninth. But that was a real opportunity when our eight and nine hitters were on board. And we couldn't make them pay for their error. Ahmed will get the play at first for two down. Once again, Ronnie Garcia has come on and just looked absolutely rock solid, hasn't he? Isbell with two out, no one on. A one-two pitch and another strikeout for Garcia. So we go to the ninth and we need runs. It's Amir Garrett coming on for them. His ERA this season from 17.1 innings is 1.56. He has given up three earned runs all year, and we need three this inning. Austin Meadows, who's 0 for 3, will lead us off. It's a first pitch swing. What can Austin do? He's hit it well, but straight to center field. 4-1 away. Torkelson, who's 0 for 2. Another first pitch swing. Torkelson again hits it well, but again straight to center field. We're down to our final out. It's Cabrera. He's 0 for 3. It's a 2-1 pitch. And Cabrera, he's hit it well, and it is... Oh, robbed. And it's a loss to start the Brian Altman era. Well, it was one of those, wasn't it? We had two hits all game, and they were our first two batters of the game, and then nothing. So... I think we can write that off as just a bad day at the office for the hitters. But Ronnie Garcia, he just he just gets... He's only 25 as well, so he can be around for a long, long time for us. He really, really impressed me. So that is... That's good. That's a positive to take. The negative, of course, is that we've lost the game. And we are now seven games back. The White Sox go top of the division. And uh, that's all a little... A little disappointing, isn't it? But let me know what you think of the new manager. Hopefully, it'll work out for us. Uh, obviously, you don't judge a season off one game. And Turnbull just had one of his off days, didn't he? He's been he's been one of the more reliable pitchers, but uh, unfortunately, today was not his day. So we will be back. I think what we'll do is we'll come back. Uh, we might come back. I'll play through June, and we'll come back July first. That's international. Let me ask Kansas City again. We don't want to do that. 
All right, so what we might do, we'll come back for a game in Seattle. Uh, so that was that's what we'll come back for. And then we'll just kind of trust me to <laughs> to sign someone on the international amateur free agent. And then we can come back after the All-Star game and face the Yankees. I think that kind of works out maybe a little bit better. Um, so that's what we'll do. Actually, know what we'll do. Actually, we'll come back for a home game against Oakland. And that kind of separates it even a bit more evenly. So a home game against Oakland. Uh, and then we'll then we'll have the, the Yankees at home after the All-Star break. That's all for next time, though, guys. Until then, I've been Aussie Bill. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.